Hello ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching. My name's Eric, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Bioshock Hub. So, I come here bearing good news on two different fronts that I want to cover within the same video. I hope you don't mind, but as you can see on screen now, we're going to be looking at Ken Levine first, and then someone else second. So if you don't want to hear me talk about Ken Levine's brand new game, you can skip ahead. That is completely okay. I understand. And if you just want to get straight to the new Bioshock news, again, you can skip ahead. No problems there. I just had a lot of questions about this game in particular, so I thought I'd answer them very quickly here. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. And as usual, thank you all for watching and clicking on the video. So the other day we got the video game awards and a lot of world premieres for video games that are coming out within the near future. So this one kind of teased me a little bit, and I'm sure if a lot of you Bioshock fans out there were actually watching it too, you might've gotten a little teased, but Ken Levine's new project that he's been working on ever since the end of Burial at Sea and when Irrational became Ghost Story Games has finally come out and has finally been formally announced. We have the name Judas. Now, gameplay wise, it looks incredible. And I know obviously we need more to really get a good gauge on how good this game or how bad this game could be. I think it's going to be good personally, but we'll have to wait and see, obviously. So this looks heavily influenced and inspired by Bioshock. So just wanted to let you know if you've been looking forward to his new and upcoming project, it's officially and formally announced. And if you'd like to watch the trailer for yourself, I'll leave that down in the description. There's that. I'm really happy that at least something came out of the video game awards for me. And the question I would like to ask you is, would you like to see me cover this game in the future on the channel when it finally is released? That Atomic Heart, let me know. Just leave a comment down below. I would very much appreciate that. So without any further ado as well, Let's get into the main reason why you clicked on this video. This is Liz Albel. I hope I pronounced her last name right. If not, I am sorry because I tend to butcher names, unfortunately. So I'll just call her Liz. Let's look at the last five games that she actually wrote on. And I want you to keep in mind, wrote. The only bad one, in my opinion, is... The last one. So we have Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. This one was the last Assassin's Creed that I personally enjoyed since Brotherhood. So that was quite a long time. Then we have Far Cry 4, which I absolutely loved. Far Cry 5, which in my opinion was incredible. Ghost of Tsushima, which was again another incredible game. And then Watch Dogs Legion, which is... Okay, I haven't played through all of it, so I still need to reserve judgment, but it's been okay since I've played it. So let me know what you guys think of that. So why am I showing you this and why am I showing you Liz in particular? Well, the other day, again, a little late on this, my apologies. We got this. Miss Liz decided to tweet out the dream is real. So happy to announce I've joined Cloud Chamber as narrative lead on Bioshock. So we finally have more news, and this time actual professional news rather than leaks, rumors, etc. about what's going on with the new Bioshock. And now we have a good idea of who is actually going to be the narrative lead on this project. So her work obviously speaks for itself. She wrote Ghost of Tsushima. She wrote Far Cry 5 and 4, and then also worked on Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and she wrote Watch Dogs Legion. So I think this is a very good thing. She definitely cares about what she's writing. She definitely cares about the game, about how it 
plays out story wise. So I hope and I pray that they don't stray away from what makes Bioshock feel like a Bioshock. It's hard to explain for those of you who obviously have never played a Bioshock, which I guarantee 99.9% of the people that watch this have, but if you haven't for whatever reason, you have to play it in order to know what I'm talking about. Now, if we go back to Judas, Ken Levine's new project, it looks like a Bioshock. Still, brand new game, brand new story, still looks good. So I just hope with the new Bioshock, with the way that the story is going to go, I hope Liz actually proves a lot of people wrong, and I hope this game is very good. The only downside I can see to this, though, and it's not about people in particular, but finding your narrative lead now after three years of an announcements or close to three years at this point, I don't know how far along they are in the process of development. So I'll try to update you when we get news on that, but I'm not entirely sure where we are in development. Anyways, like I said before, wanted to keep you guys in the loop in terms of news or rumors, speculation about the new Bioshock. So I know I'm a couple of days late. I apologize, but better late than never. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, ring the bell and turn on all post notifications. And if you want, just leave a nice comment. I'll try to reply as much as I can. If you want to follow me and stay up to date outside of YouTube, my social medias are the best ways to do so. Links to which are in the description below. And finally, there's going to be a couple of videos popping up on the screen here shortly. Go check those out, please. I would very much appreciate that. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye, guys.